If you can predict what an, where an audience is going to go or what they think you're going to do, you can use that momentum against them. I knew I wanted to have reveals. I knew I wanted to have twists. But most importantly, if, if an audience thinks they know what's going on, if you can show them that they've been watching something completely different the entire time, I think they have a respect. And there's a, there's a real intellectual catharsis that comes with that. And, 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 and it's fulfilling. The biggest issue with any actor that consistently impresses you with his performances is that there is an expectation from the audience for every movie to hit it out of the park for a home run. If you look at Amar Khan's filmography and track record, there is an expectation to always deliver. And when a movie like Thugs of Hindustan comes out of nowhere, there is genuine disappointment amongst his fans. Fahad Fasil in the Malayalam film industry has made a name for himself as such a talented powerhouse that now people expect only gems to come out of all his films that he features in. This is why when the trailer of Irul dropped recently, everyone was excited about this thriller and what it had to offer. Keeping the high expectations aside, I was extremely keen to know what the story would explore. The film focuses on a couple that is doing a weekend getaway from the madness of the city, only to find themselves stranded in the torrential rain and take shelter in a nearby house where they bump into a mysterious man. The conversation that develops over that night only to understand that there is a possibility of a killer being on the loose forms the premise of Irul. This is a very interesting psychological whodunit thriller as it adds itself to being one of the films that is set in primarily one location. This is why in this video I wanted to create a comparison between two thrillers from Kerala, namely Irul and Love, that aim to build anxiety and interest among the audience while the characters simply interact with one another in a particular setting and finally make a calculated guess on how it will conclude. Let's start by talking about what I holistically felt about Irul. I feel that the movie started off brilliantly. From setting up itself as a mere getaway between a couple, it was an interesting dynamic to explore. How Alex, played by Sobin Shahir, is looking for inspiration for his next book, while basking in the glory of the success of his previous one, and Archana, played by Darshana Rajendran, a lawyer by profession who gravitates towards him romantically. The ability of Irul to make you doubt the character's intentions commences like a slow burn. You have an idea of these characters characters but don't really know them. This makes you suspicious of every move that they make. As the movie progresses and carries on to them interacting with one another in the house that they seek shelter in, the curiosity builds among the audience as there is still no idea about who these characters are. The conversation among them on Alex's book and its content aims to provide you a slight glimpse of the capability of these characters and ask a question, is there a dark side to all of them? A brilliant way to initiate doubt regarding everyone and hence not making the screenplay or the writing in any way predictable. It is however in the second half of the film where the film lost me in truly turning out to be a compelling thriller for the ages. As this is a spoiler free review, you will find several loopholes and unanswered questions that are casually resolved, especially in its final act. There is no doubt about the fact that Irul is technically brilliant, be it the cinematography of Jamon T. John, the sometimes bone-chilling sound design by Sankaran and KC Siddharthan, or the production design by Ajay and Chillisari. It visually and technically is spectacular. I feel, however, the fact that this one-hour, 30-minute thriller has five writers, it somehow loses its core focus by the time the final act begins. Just like the title of the book written by Alex and this movie, Irul, which means darkness or the absence of light, is the intention by the creators to keep the viewers there as long as possible. They are partly successful at this, but I genuinely feel that they were themselves confused on how to conclude this thriller. I think Fahad Fasil and Darshana Rajendran are exceptional in this film. The curiosity and body language of Fahad and the creeping uncomfortability of Darshana is communicated perfectly. I don't know why, but Sobin Shahir is not really convincing in this film. I I understand why his character is intended to come across as sort of a mystery, but he seemed to be the most out of place of the three characters in this film. So while many people will wholeheartedly rave about the film because it has Fahad Fasil in it, I have to say that it is an above average thriller that perfectly sets up the characters and the setting, develops brilliantly in order to pique interest, but concludes half-heartedly, leaving more questions strictly on logic than anything else. Would there be a possibility of a sequel? Maybe. You tell me, what did you think? Now let's get to a film that I was hounded to talk about and that I absolutely loved. It was a Malayalam film available on Netflix titled Love, starring Shine Tom Chako and Rajasri Vijayan in lead roles. The reason why I create a parallel with Irul and Love is that both films are set in primarily one location. And somehow, I felt Love as a film 
through its writing and characters spoke more to me and was a much more effective thriller than Irul. Without giving anything away, I think it was best to quote the description of the film from Netflix, which states that it focuses on the troubling inner workings of a toxic marriage and how they reveal themselves in surprising ways after one of the couple's feuds spins out of control. The film technically is brilliant as well. The slow motion shots capture the resentment between the couple and the imagining of everything breaking down around the main character provides a glimpse of his inner turmoil. The interactions among several characters that come in and out of the apartment provide you a glimpse of how deep the protagonist has gone to a point of no return and provides you a compelling commentary on human behavior and how it manifests depending on the situation you are in life. Shine Tom Chako is one of those fascinating performers according to me. I remember when he sent chills down my spine with his disturbing performance in a movie like Ishq. His best friend in love, a hopeless drunk played by Gokulan, will frustrate you to another level and it is entirely because of the spectacular job he has done. Why I feel love is a much superior example of thriller storytelling than Irul is that you understand the predicament the characters are in from the onset, yet it has the ability to surprise you as each minute passes. Irul keeps you at arm's length with respect to the characters. It undoubtedly hooked you till the hour mark but genuinely lost its grip on how to conclude it. Love has the most complex and fascinating conclusions to a thriller that has come out which has led to several debates of what actually happened. This is not because of the loopholes or demerits of the script but the inventive way in which they decided to conclude the story. This setup of thrillers primarily in one location really piqued my interest. The sense of claustrophobia one feels while so many characters interact with one another not knowing each person and their intentions is a beautiful setup for the audience to decide where this may be headed. A great example of keeping the audience engaged with a similar setting is the 1999 Ram Gopal Verma film Con, a movie in which you kept tossing between Manoj Bajpayee and Urmila Matondkar to understand who may be the psychotic killer on the loose. It had the ability to keep you hooked till its final act. Similarly, a film available on Netflix that I would highly recommend is called The Invitation. A man invited to a dinner party by his ex-wife seems generic, but how it develops as the minute passes by with many past grievances and unresolved issues resurfacing will literally make your jaw drop. Even Sony Live's Welcome Home did a phenomenal job of making you root for the characters as they feel trapped in a dwelling filled with psychotic characters. This is a genre that I feel will always have a willing audience to watch and crave for more. You tell me what did you think of Erol? What did you think of Love as well? Which one do you think is a far superior thriller? And if you are planning to give spoilers in the comments below, do give a fair warning in your first sentence. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at Jammy Pants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.